it's me. I'm back. I know it's been a minute. Um, it's been a lot. I've been busy. Um, but I wanted to post a video just to give a life update. It's been a minute. Um, it's October Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so I always represent um, in the month of October. Um, I did it before my diagnosis, so I do it, you know, now definitely post diagnosis. But I'm back. It's Tish. I uh, just wanted to post a quick life update and what's been going on, why I've been away, the decision that I've made about the channel, so on and so forth. But it is Tuesday, October 24th, and I was going to make this video over the weekend because Sunday actually made two years of, um, Sunday was my two year anniversary of my double mastectomy. So, um, I was going to make a video just to kind of, um, recognize that day. Um, but I don't know. It's just time got away from me. It was a lot going on over the weekend. My son had two baseball games Saturday. So Saturday was a long day. And then Sunday was an early day. No excuses. I just didn't have, I just didn't have it in me to just do it. And so I said, no, I made a commitment to myself. So I'm going to do it. But, um, so yes, two years, um, post double mastectomy this past Sunday, um, I thought about it all day. I thought about it all day. You know how memories come up in your phone from past events and it immediately came up as a memory uh, last year's and the year before that. Um, I got pictures um, in my phone that popped up the day before where I actually took uh, pictures of my breast for one, you know, that one last time. And I forgot that I had did that. So I saw a picture of my breast like the day before the surgery. And um, I'm still, I'm still, I'm doing fine. I'm cancer free. I went about maybe a month ago and I did um, blood work in my skin. No, it was earlier this month. I did my blood work. I did scans. And so I'm still cancer free. Praise God. For that um, it has been a year ago since I found out that I would have to have a full hysterectomy um, that's also um, was this week so um, I have been hesitating getting on camera because as you can see I have gotten fluffier and I have just been struggling to figure out what to do with that because this is the biggest I've ever been in my life. And it's really been an adjustment because with the hysterectomy and the medication that I take daily for um, the letrozole that I take to stop any reoccurrence of cancer and has the potential to cause weight gain. So with my hormones um, all in balance, being into full now menopause, I've gained a lot of weight. I was gaining weight last year once I took that um, Lupron shot and it just really turned up earlier this year. And I was really being diligent about my diet and exercise. I was juicing and all of that and the weight just, so I really hesitated and I, I didn't feel comfortable getting in front of the camera. But I thought about it and I thought about the purpose of this channel and what I um, have been dealing with and I was like no I mean I think people need to see the other side of it um, of what it what breast cancer looks like for those that may not have gone for you know through through chemotherapy but had other things I mean I did immunotherapy I'm doing hormone therapy um, had to have a hysterectomy in order to start taking the hormone chemotherapy and this is kind of what it looks like. Um, I, of course, still got the reconstruction, so I'm dealing with that. I'm having issues with trying to find comfortable bras that fit. You can't have underwire. Um, trying to find clothes that fit my new size. Um, 
and not settle in on that. But I finally went and I, I had, when I had the appointment with my uh, plastic surgeon about a month and a half ago, and I saw him because he was doing a checkup to see how my scars were healing from the reconstruction and the and the cleanup surgery that he did. And I mentioned to him that, you know, I was disappointed because um, I've just gained so much weight and I don't know what to do about it. And so he referred me to um, a weight loss clinic um, that is in the office building. He was like, I want you to go see them and talk to them and see what they can help you with because you have been through a lot. Your body has been through a lot over these last two years. And I know that you are probably being very diligent about what you do. So I went and I've met with the um, dietitian twice and she's given me lots of good pointers to think about it. Now that I'm approaching 50, um, have the hormones, have the medications that I take, and so um, we have a plan and I've been working with her on that. And I've seen changes from an inches perspective, not necessarily from a weight perspective, but it's just me now rethinking how I approach eating. Because the the, the first thing that we did that, that first month after I met her was for me to document and diary my food and I did. And she took a look at, you know, my pictures and what I documented I was eating. And she was like, Miss Petty, you're not eating enough. You're not eating enough. I know you don't really like meat that much, but you're just not getting enough protein. You're not getting enough um, of your healthy fats. You're just not eating enough. And so we're, we've now devised um, a meal plan of like what my plate should look like when I eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then a snack if I want a snack. But she's putting me on, you know, so many calories. I think I'm at 12, 11 to 1200 calories a day is what I should be consuming now. So I'm starting to track that. Um, and then we um, set a goal that first month, and that was for me to at least do 30 minutes of an activity at least four to five days a week. I made that goal. That goal worked. And so now we are adding on to that goal of keeping it 45, four to five days a week at 30 minutes minimum up to 45 minutes to an hour of some type of activity and then adding in uh, strength training because I told her I still feel very weak in this area. And then now with, um, I have muscle aches really bad, joint aches really bad in my knees, my ankles and my feet. In my hip area and so we're gonna I've been incorporating as of this week because I had my second visit with her last week um, strength training bands light weights and so I've been gonna do that at least three times a week I met with a trainer from that office on different exercises he wants me to start out with because at my age it's really gonna be the strength training that's gonna help me lose the weight so that's where I am um, as I mentioned, I do have muscle aches. I mean, it is difficult. And one of the things that we, we talked about is it could be a combination of things. It could be a combination of the menopause, because that is a symptom of menopause is muscle aches. In addition to the get, make, you know weight gains and hormonal imbalance, muscle aches is a symptom of it. Um, it could come from the medication that I take, the hormone chemotherapy that I take, that is um, a side effect of it. Could be, but it also could be from the cholesterol medication that I take, the statins, or to, um, I take a atorvastatin, and those statins have a tendency to cause joint aches. And I was like, you know, I remember reading that when I first started taking it. She said, so it could be a combination of all three, but let's figure out how to you know, at least alleviate the muscle aches from the weight gain and see if that kind of tapers some of that off for me because it hurts. It hurts to sit down somewhere if it's low, like this chair. It hurts to stand up. It hurts. If I've been sitting at my desk for a while, then I go and take that first step. I just have just really bad um, aches. If, if I'm laying in bed on one side too long and go to turn over, just shooting muscle aches and so I just need to figure out a way to eliminate that but she said a lot of that could be around menopause 
So I said, well, okay. Um, I had someone make a comment to me. Um, one time I was talking to someone and somehow we got on the conversation of my breast cancer journey and everything. And the person, um, someone heard me talking to this person about that. Like, oh, you talking about that now? And so I stopped. I don't, I don't talk about it with, with people any longer, but, um, I, I've, I've had people make insensitive comments like that to me. Um, just, just really insensitive comments. I think that if people feel like if you don't go through chemotherapy and lose your hair and, and, um, have those types of side effects from breast cancer, then, ah, uh, you are right. You, you fine. But you really just don't understand that there are different stages that even early, early stage breast cancers, though you may not have chemotherapy or radiation, there's still a lot of side effects from the other types of treatments that you might have. Um, my breast cancer didn't, doesn't respond to chemotherapy. So chemotherapy was never an option for me. Um, and then it didn't spread to a lymph node or another part of the body. So there was also no reason for chemotherapy, but it wouldn't have worked for me because the type of breast cancer that I have does not respond to chemotherapy, but the side effects of some of the other treatments and just the changes in your body from having a double mastectomy and having the reconstruction and where your body changes because of all of that, then the menopause, it's, it's just, it's, it's almost laughable with some of the comments that I get from people. So I just, I've just made the decision to not even talk to people about it any longer. Um, but I will talk about it on this channel. I just don't talk to people about it directly any longer. Um, but one of the things I do want to shift to is talk about, you know, what menopause looks like and walk you through my journey of trying to get back. Um, and I don't want to say healthy because I don't think that I'm unhealthy. If you go look at a lot of my numbers, like my blood pressure and all of that, all of that looks really good. I'm not diabetic, not pre-diabetic. Um, so it's just a matter of really trying to understand how my body has changed. So that's where we're going to be. That's that's where we're going to be. I'm going to commit to getting back on camera. I'm not going to let my weight gain um, or my self-consciousness of my weight um, stop me from that, um, from sharing what I am dealing with because other, other women my age, other women uh, could be dealing with some similar things and just like, why is that? And so we can just talk about it. So I'm just here to share life update. Um, I still have my locks the medication does thin my hair out. I did lose, I have lost a couple of locks. Um, this is just pulled back. Um, you see my sides are, are thin. This is like the first time that I pulled it back and put tension on my hair in a while, um, just because I don't want to put a lot of tension on my hair, lose more locks. I'm really trying to preserve the locks, um, I do still do um, take uh, care of them in the same way that I did from the beginning, but I did notice that my roots, I noticed they tend to be a little bit thinner and that's the medication, you know, um, it's, it's, it's thinning out my hair a little bit. So now I'm trying to figure out how to combat that. Again, things that people go through that you don't um, even realize. And so um, just wanted to get on camera and say, hey, not going to hold you too long, but I am going to commit to coming back. Um, just want to just um, pop in and just say hey and let you know I'm still out here. I'm still doing my best. Work has just been a booger bear <laughs> this year. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers that have joined. I'm almost at 300 subscribers, y'all. And I know that's not a lot. And I know I've had the channel now for almost two, a little over two years, but that is a lot for me because I know that the topics that I'm discussing aren't going to garner me thousands and thousands of views and thousands of thousands of subscribers. But people have come to hear, if not about what's going on with me with that, but my hair. So um, I do have some hair content that I need to post. It's just sitting in my phone. 
for me to edit and post the video, but I'm telling you, work has been a booger this year, but I'm getting through it. So, um, thank you again. Again, subscribe, pass this video along to someone that you know that could find the information useful. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of my new subscribers, and I'll be checking in soon. Bye.